Hi there, my name is Jason Caldwell. I'm the lead developer for the S2 member plugin for WordPress. All right, today we're talking about iDev Affiliate. iDev Affiliate is a separate software application uh, that works very well with S2 member and S2 member Pro, uh, but it is a separate software application. It does not come with S2 member and it does not come with S2 member Pro. It is not even sold by WebSharks Incorporated. It's sold by a company called iDev Direct. Okay, and that's the website I'm on now. I'm at idevstore.com. And when you get to this page, you'll see that iDev Direct is the home of iDev Affiliate. And in this video, I'm going to show you, if you click on this Purchase iDev Affiliate tab, it'll bring up these three different versions. And I'm going to go over in this video which version I recommend. I'm going to go over how to integrate iDev Affiliate in the most typical way, using a hidden image tag with S2 member. And then I'm also, in the second segment of the video, I'm also going to cover uh, an advanced method of integration through an, a third-party affiliate API call uh, that actually speaks to iDev Affiliate, to your iDev Affiliate installation behind the scene. Okay, so let's get started. All right, you'll see when you reach this page that uh, iDev Affiliate comes in three flavors. You have a standard gold and then a platinum SEO version. And while the gold and the platinum versions uh, have many nice features uh, that could be justified uh, in certain scenarios, uh, in this video we're going to focus in on the standard edition. Standard edition is what we recommend to all of our clients because it comes with more than enough features to satisfy an integration of S2 Member Pro. Uh, this software costs $99. It's a one-time fee, and that gets you a single domain license. It's a PHP application. You get a copy of iDev Affiliate. It installs right into your web space. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and switch tabs here for a moment and show you this is a, an installation of iDev Affiliate. This is the administrative panel. So once you install iDev Affiliate, you log in as an administrator, you'll see something very much like this. And as you can see, this software has many features, which is one of the reasons why we recommend it. It's a very powerful solution, and this software actually comes with its own set of video tutorials that teach you how to use the software. Uh, as well as several PDF uh, informative files that will go over some of the advanced features that you can, uh, some of the things you can do with iDev Affiliate. Okay, but what we're going to talk about right now is the cart integration. So when you go here to the tab cart integration and you choose shopping cart integration wizard, okay, that'll bring up this screen that I'm on right now. And this is where we're going to begin the integration with S2 member. Okay, now this section at the top you can just ignore with S2 member. These are a bunch of pre-integrated solutions and really you don't even need to use this with S2 member. Uh, as is the case with many software applications, you can just use this uh, generic universal tracking pixel. And that's all we need to do. Just click this button and your installation of iDev Affiliate to enable that generic tracking pixel. And upon clicking that button, I'm going to switch tabs, you'll be brought to this screen. Upon clicking that button, It'll enable the generic tracking pixel, and it'll show you the generic tracking pixel instructions. Okay, and if you lose your place, just click on this link here, where it says View Integration Instructions, and that'll bring you back to this page. Okay, now you can see that iDev Affiliate gives me three options here. They have option one, a hidden image tag. Okay, and that's what we're going to do first here, and then they also have an option two with the JavaScript version. Okay, now both of these are essentially the same functionality. Uh, just I recommend the image tag over the JavaScript version. So we're just going to bypass the JavaScript version in this video. And then in the second segment of the video, I'm going to go over this third-party affiliate call. This is the most advanced, the most powerful of the three, but it's also, uh, like I said, the more advanced way of integrating. So it's not quite as simple as just a, an image tag. The image tag is what we recommend. It's the easiest, the simplest, and this is what most people use. Okay, so all you do is you just copy the image tag. I'm going to copy it here, and we take it right over to our installation of WordPress. Okay, so in this tab, I have an installation of WordPress 3.1, and at the time of this video, I'm running S2 member version 3.5.7, and I've gone here to my S2 member menu, and I've chosen API tracking. That'll bring you to this screen. Okay, now these, there's several subsections here. These three subsections near the bottom, uh, this integrating iDev Affiliate, integrating ShareASale, these are kind of uh, reviews of what we're actually talking about here in the video right now. And then this other one is talking about the Affiliate API call. 
and how that uh, form of integration could be used in conjunction with S2 members API notifications. Okay, so these last three subsections here under the API tracking are really just informative. The only two we really need to focus on when we're actually doing the integration are these two panels up here where we actually have the boxes for the tracking codes that we can paste our, our codes into. Okay, now before we do that, there's the point I want to make here and kind of touch on this. You see there are two, and the reason that there's two is that because S2 member comes with two different types of functionality. At its core, S2 member is a mem membership management system, and so this first section is for membership sign-up tracking codes. In other words, anytime you sell a customer access where they're going to get a username and password, that's considered membership level access. But then there is this separate functionality that comes with S2 member, and this is for specific posts and pages and allows you to sell buy now access to posts and pages, and the customer doesn't, doesn't actually use a username or a password to access these. So S2 member likes to keep these two types of functionality separated, and that goes for its API tracking as well. As you see here, there's two different boxes. Okay, so let's start with membership sign-up tracking codes. All you do here is you, this box can contain any, any type of HTML, uh, JavaScript code, or even PHP. You see it listed here. You can put whatever you like in this box, and in this case, we're just going to paste our IDEV affiliate tracking code in, just like it was given by IDEV affiliate. And now in the instructions provided by IDEV Affiliate, it told me that I need to change out these three X's, both instances of these, where it's just IDEV sale amount, I need to decide in my shopping cart, or in this case the S2 member membership management system, how I'm going to configure these values where the XXX appears. Okay, because IDEV Affiliate doesn't know what S2 member is going to, what going to use for these values, it just fills them with X's by default. And that it is your job when you're integrating IDEV Affiliate to change these out. And that's what we're going to show you how to do in this video. In the case of membership sign-up tracking, the IDEV sale amount okay, should be equal to the initial replacement code. So I just copy this replacement code. It says initial. And that's equal to the initial fee charged during sign-up. It also goes on to say if you offered a 100% free trial, then this will be zero. All right, so that's good. I need to set the sale amount here to the amount that the customer is charged initially during the membership sign-up. Okay, so for example, when this is actually processed, let's say the customer spent $10, that initial replacement code is going to be replaced, and it's going to be replaced with $10 in that case. Okay, now, if I pass in $10 to IDEV affiliate, and let's say that I've configured IDEV affiliate, so I'm paying my affiliates 10%, if the sale amount is $10 here, then my affiliate is going to make $1. That's 10% of $10. Okay, so initial works very well. That's what you put in here, and that way it's calculated dynamically. The replacement code is replaced with the amount that the customer spent whenever they signed up initially. Okay, now for the order number, you just use the subscription ID. Okay, that's the paid subscription ID, which remains constant throughout any and all future payments. You take those X's out, pop in subscription ID. Okay, and that's it. You've just integrated IDEV Affiliate with S2 members membership sign-up tracking codes. Okay, now before we move on to the next section for specific posts and pages, there's one thing I want to touch on here that's important. Again, a while ago when I mentioned the fact that this initial fee, it states here if you offered a 100% free trial, then this will be zero. Now, in the case of IDEV Affiliate, and this is true with several other types of tracking. If this initial replacement code, if you know ahead of time that you're offering a 100% free trial and that this is just going to come out to zero, you, need, you should be aware of this because IDEV affiliate will essentially choke on a zero dollar sale amount because there's nothing to calculate a commission from. All right, so you really want to try and avoid the initial amount coming out to just zero. So there's a couple of ways to deal with this. If you know that this is you're offering a free trial, and you know that's going to be a zero ahead of time, then you can always hard code an amount in. So for example, if you have an affiliate that's driving traffic to your site, and they're going to essentially be creating a lead where they're generating a free trial sign up, that would be considered a lead, not really a sale. 
then you might want to decide, okay, well, I want to pay them a dollar, so I'll just hard code this in at ten dollars, and then I'll configure my installation of iDev to pay them ten percent of that, which would give them a dollar. So there's a couple of ways to deal with this. That's one way. Another way is to use the regular amount, which is the regular amount of the subscription after the initial trial period. Okay, the regular amount would never be less than zero, or it would never it would always be greater than zero, I should say. Okay, because that's how much they're going to be charged after their trial is over. So you could use that here. Just depends on how you want to deal with that. So it's, it's good to be aware that the initial replacement code could be equal to zero whenever you're offering free trials. So there are times whenever you would not want to use initial and instead hard code an amount in or you possibly use the regular here or even the recurring amount. Okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and just copy this in its entirety now because the next section, specific post page, is almost identical. I'm going to paste that right in. This is almost the exact same thing here. The only difference between the membership signup tracking codes and the tracking codes for specific post page access is that these two replacement codes are different. Both of them are different. Instead of using initial, we use amount here. And instead of using subscription ID, we use transaction ID. Okay, so that's it. We've now integrated iDev Affiliate with S2 Member in the most typical way. You click Save Changes, and you're all done. Okay, now, of course, we're going to go over this other, oops, I lost it. We're going to go over this third option here, which is the third-party affiliate call. We're going to pick right back up on this in the very next segment.